Today I'm sharing all the fun bookish things I received for my birthday. Hey there, it's Mitzi. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to just share a few things I received for my birthday and they are all bookish, <laughs> of course. And so I wanted to share those with you. The first thing I want to share is this huge set. I'm really excited about this of Mo Willems books. It's the uh, Piggy and Elephant. If you look at it, there are um, a, quite a collection. It's 25 books and if you look close on the front you'll see these cute little elephant and piggy book ends. It's very heavy so I'm going to put this down. So when my youngest son was just learning to read the elephant and piggy book started appearing in our library. We loved them and there were only a few at the time but now of course there's tons of the elephant and piggy books. So my son uh, surprised me with that because he knows how much he loves them but he knows how much I love them too. We just fell in love with Elephant and Piggy and you know he has fond memories of it because he you know started reading with that. He learned to read with Elephant and Piggy so he loves them too but he knows how much I fell in love with them when they came out as well. So he bought me this wonderful set. They have the really cute uh, bookends so I'm excited to put that on my shelf. I'm sure you'll be seeing that behind me soon and I, I couldn't wait to share this so that I could open it up and put it on my shelf. The only problem I have is the box is super cute too. It is, I'm not going to pick it back up because it's so heavy, but the box is really cute as well. And I'm like, I don't want to get rid of the box, but I want to use the book in. So I've got to figure out if you have a great idea of what I could do with that box. It does have the, the clear plastic film on the front of it, uh, but it's, there, it's a pretty sturdy plastic film so I could still use the box to keep things in. I'm just not sure what I want to do with it. If you have an idea for what to do with that super cute box, let me know in the comments. So the next thing I want to share is what my uh, so my other son and his fiance bought me. And before I talk about that, I do want to mention my uh, son's fiance, my future daughter-in-law. He is marrying in July, just a couple of months away, and we're all super excited about it. She is perfect. And I just wanted to talk to you about her because you'll think she's perfect too. And let me tell you why. She loves books just as much as I do. And they're building a house. And so when they were doing the, uh, working on the um, house plans, the plans for the house, she said, pretty much the first thing that had to be there was a library. So I knew, yep, you're perfect <laughs> for this family because my son, you know, wants a library too. But she was immediately, got to have a library for all my books. And she loves my library too. And we talk about books and she's just a delight. So I'm super excited that she is joining our family in July. But anyway, she's the one that uh, saw this, that it captured her attention because she knew I would love it. And she was right. It is, um, well, first of all, I'm a huge Bigfoot fan. I don't know if you know that, but I wear a Bigfoot shirt. I have two different Bigfoot shirts that I wear in videos sometimes. I love anything to do with Bigfoot, and they know that. And I also love, there is a Second and Charles in our area, which is a very big um, secondhand bookstore. So they found this shirt at Second and Charles and it says all about the hunt and it has the Second and Charles logo on it and it has Bigfoot on the front of it. And then they also found the mug as well and it has the all about the hunt and then the Second and Charles logos is on, on the back. So they, they um, know how much I love coffee so they bought the mug, they bought the shirt because they know how much I love Bigfoot and Second and Charles. And it is all about the hunt because that is my favorite thing to do is go hunt for a new book, a treasure hunt for those books at these secondhand bookstores. So it was perfect for me. So thank you to them for uh, giving me the mug and the um, shirt because that was perfect. And then my husband, he bought me several books too. Whenever we're out and about, he will listen to the books that I'm, you know, oh, I love this book, that kind of thing as we're walking around the store. And he tries to remember those things. He he's, now just kind of makes a note of the books that I mentioned. And uh, these were a few that I had talked about. The first one, I had never seen this particular book, but I was really excited about it. It's A Pleasure to Burn by Ray Bradbury. If you follow my channel, you know that 
I'm a huge Ray Bradbury fan. I do love Fahrenheit 451, and this is a collection of short stories that center around Fahrenheit 451. I've never seen this one, but look at that great cover. I was very excited to get this one. Again, I love Ray Bradbury, and I'm trying to just collect all of his books, but he has tons of books, so I have a long way to go, and he has lots of short story collections, so I can't wait to read this one. He also picked me up two more D.E. Stevenson, and it was funny because when I opened my presents um, on my birthday, he said, I just watched your video where you talked about D.E. Stevenson, so I'm glad I picked these up. Because in my last video, I had finished Anna and Her Daughters by D.E. Stevenson and talked about how much I loved her writing and wanted just to read all of them. So he picked me up The Blue Sapphire, and look at that great cover. And then he also picked me up Vittoria Cottage. And I do love these uh, furrowed middle brow books. I love these. They are really, they're a great publishing company because they they bring back these out of print books books that would you know would be harder to find so we can find them in these uh, pretty editions so i have these two more for d.e stevenson let me know if you've read those i can't wait to get started on those and then he also picked up two other books hold on let me pick those up okay so he also picked me up two other books and these are tolkien related this one is pictures um I, th I find this to be super interesting. I love The Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. I love those books. And so I'm always looking at anything that has to do with, that are, you know, Lord of the Rings related. But this is actually, it came in this slip case. And he was an artist as well. And so he would draw a lot of things as he was writing these stories, I guess, to, you know, get, get his thoughts together and uh, create this imaginary world that he created which is fascinating he was just a genius but anyway it comes in this beautiful slip case and the book is beautiful too this is the book and then inside are the illustrations that he actually created inside so i cannot wait i haven't looked at it yet so i'm going to show you first but i can't wait to uh read through this and I'm going to just put this on my coffee table. And in the mornings when I'm drinking my coffee, I'm going to just flip through this. This will be like flipping through a magazine. It'll be a great uh, relaxing way to start a day. So uh, I'm excited about that. And again, that would be beautiful on my coffee table too for the others who might want to uh, flip through it as well. And then finally, he bought me this beautiful book called Tolkien, Maker of Middle Earth. Look how gorgeous this is. There's a beautiful picture of him on the back. I am just in love with this book. And it's all kinds of letters, uh, illustrations, inspiration, all kinds of beautiful things in this book. And I cannot wait. I'm trying to find another uh, picture, maybe. I cannot wait to get started on this. But this is a hefty book. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited. It has the embossed uh, foiling on the front. I mean, even the spine's beautiful. <laughs> I just love this book. So this would be a beautiful one on my coffee table as well, along with the illustrations. Uh, so I'm going to uh, sit those on my um, to coffee table so that I can enjoy them as well as the rest of my family because we all love uh, Tolkien and, and his work. So I just find him to be a genius and I'm always looking for biographies about writers. So if you know of a, a great biography about another writer, let me know that. Leave that in the comments too. So those are the books that I received and the bookish things I received for my birthday. I love my family. They just know me so well and they always come through on birthdays and uh, celebrations. I also received this beautiful planter for my fern to sit in on my front porch. I'll try to put in some footage of that. Uh, my boys gave me this beautiful planter for Mother's Day, and I haven't mentioned that, but they did uh, that for Mother's Day. We went out of town, so it was kind of, I didn't film that week, so I, I kind of forgot to share that. But I'll try to remember to put in some footage of the beautiful planter that they gave me 
two weeks ago uh, for Mother's Day as well. So those are the wonderful gifts I've been receiving. They've just showered me with love and all these wonderful gifts lately. And I just um, am so thankful for them and their support of my reading habit and this library that is out of control. Uh, have you read any of these? Have you received a wonderful gift lately? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.